So due to it being Father's Day um, on Sunday just gone and today is now Tuesday, it got me thinking because for 20 odd years I have been mum and dad to my eldest and for 17 years I've been mum and dad to my youngest and it was brought to my attention about the shitty behaviour of a reality star who is having a baby with a guy who's already got a kid and since he's been with her he has scrubbed his social media of his child he's already got the child's never mentioned this reality star is now making out like this child doesn't exist and the baby he's having with her is her first baby and it kind of struck a chord with me because I've been in this situation myself where one of my baby daddies was, I'll say active, I mean he wasn't fully active but he had somewhat of an input in my children's lives up until he met his wife. Once he met her, anything prior to her is a no. So. My children are not allowed to go to his house. Every th photo that was in the house has been removed. They are never mentioned. They've never been included. They've now gone on to have children themselves. And now Deadbeat Dad is really not being around kind of the same how he was with mine. And this woman is utterly surprised and shocked. But if you get with a guy knowing that they already have children and don't bother with those children why do these women think that they're going to be any different with them and why do these women think that it's acceptable to completely try and remove a child from their dad's lives these children are innocent and this reality tv star is vile and baby daddy's wife is vile because she has banned my children from going up to visit their dad he's not allowed to see them he's not allowed to actually do anything much but to stop somebody from seeing their children that's complete control and i don't like that but kind of what i want to know is who's to blame is she to blame because i think she has to take some accountability for being a control freak but also baby daddy had should have said no i'm seeing my kids but at the time his new partner, he chose his partner over his children. Mm. From what I was told, she made him choose. He chose her over his children, um, which is disgusting. I think it's disgusting to make anybody choose. It's not the first time I've had that happen to me. But it's the long-lasting psychological effect that it has on children not just my children but all these kids that this has happened to and also the new children that have been brought into this mess because not only do they have siblings that they don't know about the same thing is happening to them also and also is the wife a control freak because when they got together they were both seeing other people and is it the classic how they meet you is how they'll leave you so is she worried about him cheating and leaving but that's something that they have to work out themselves but not take it out on the children the other baby daddy decided to leave when i was pregnant then got involved with somebody else who had a child the same age as his biological biolog biological child sorry but was never involved in her life at all but stayed with a woman brought up somebody else's kid then went on to have other children and then years later decides to reach out and can't quite grasp the fact that she's not just going to fit in with a ready-made family when you haven't bothered and i don't know whether it's just me because i have the worst picker and i have picked the worst men for baby daddies and partners my whole life 
or whether people are just weak and this is just kind of acceptable behaviour.